Hello! Once you've produced your character designs, you might be wondering how do I get this character into Maya? Well, here is a step-by-step -step video showing you how to take a character design and publish it and then open it inside Maya. So I'm going to start here with the character design page. I have designed several characters and I'm just going to choose one here. You can see that on the character design um, uh, for every character we have uh, different icons. The first one being a delete icon, the second one being an edit. Go back and edit and modify this character. Or I have um, this third uh, icon which is a publish. If I choose the publish icon I'm able to choose a name and size for my character. In this, in this case I'm going to choose that. I'm going to leave geometry quads Y up because I want to take this Maya. I'm going to boost the quality here to medium instead of low. I'm going to include the clothes. I'm going to add some facial shapes. And since I'm going to Maya, um, my output will be a Maya binary <clears throat> and not an FBX. I could export both and bring the FBX either into Max or into Motion Builder. So with those uh, minor tweaks, I'm going to click OK to publish this character. I can see at the top of the page here that um, I am uh, informed that this may take a few minutes before my character is actually um, produced produced or published. As you can see, now my character has just been published. I get a notification that slides down, and I can see here in the Publish Character tabs a little icon showing I have one new published character. If I click on the Publish Character tab, I'll see my published character. So these are two characters I previously published, and here with the green checkbox indicating that this is my newly published character that I have not yet downloaded um, from the site. Um, here, similar to the character design page, I can um, delete this uh, character asset, or in this case I can download it. So that's what I want to do here, and I want to bring this character into Maya. I'm going to click on this icon for downloading. It's going to download the actual file. So I'm going to then um, just uh, open this folder so that I see it when it's done. It's almost downloaded. And here we go. Now I have my Dylan zip. So this is a zip file. So um, the second thing I'm going to do is I'm just bring this into my temporary working folder here. Get rid of my download folder. And I need to basically extract this zip file. So here I'm using um, a extraction program for a zip file that's creating my Dylan folder and you'll find that in that zip file you have um, the Maya binary and the image used for the texture. So once I have that I can basically then um, open up Maya and um, with uh, this file I could actually just even take this file and drag and drop it directly in Maya's viewport to open this uh, Maya binary version of the character. I'm going to auto fit this. I'm going to do a shading mode. And we can see that I do have my character here inside um, Maya. Now, uh, the next thing just to be able to pose this character is I'm going to need um, the HIK tool since this character does contain a HIK skeleton definition by default. So I'm going to go into uh, my Windows Animation Editor and click on Human IK. This will open up my Human IK um, character controls and I can see that I already have a character here. Um, called character and it's got a valid definition so my character is ready um, to create a control rig or retarget animation onto it. To manipulate the character and pose the character in the source pull down of the character controls I can simply select control rig. This will automatically uh, create a human IK control rig. I can use the character tools to select and then uh, in the viewport I can do my uh, manipulations. Here I'm just in body part but I could enable a full body mode and have the whole uh, human IK solving um, uh, act on it. Now um, I could just use this for posing, I could keyframe, I could create animation. Um, very quickly if I take the character pull down and go to none, um, I have access here to other human IK um, uh, character examples but also mocap examples. So if I um, open up the mocap examples I could very um, simply and quickly bring in a motion file and apply this motion file onto this character. So let's just take this um, run motion file and I'm going to drag it into the viewport to load that up into the scene. This uh, new character, um, uh, basically the uh, here I'm going to just enable the X-ray mode and I just want to see this other character over here. Um, so this is the character containing the motion. If I just expand this um, we have motion here. I'm just going to have to expand the time uh, frame here. 
and it ends about here. I expanded a little too much to bring this back down. And then if I take this character that I just produced, and instead of using the control rig, I select this other mocap example as the source, I'll immediately get this run uh, motion applied to my character here. I'm going to take off the joint x-ray mode, and I'm going to scrub the timeline, and I can see that I have the human IK retargeting directly onto my character generated um, directly from the Pinocchio site. Thank you.